Alright guys, so it's arm day. Hope you're all good. Me and Z smashed it. Oh, it was a sick session. Uh, we focus more on keeping a structure to the reps in this session because I'm dieting right now and going to failure is is difficult. <laughs> it's difficult to consistently go to failure on every or most exercises when dieting. Alright, because you just don't have the energy, you don't have the the natural resources <laughs> within your body to fuel yourself to go through the session to failure. So yeah. Um, as you can see, everything that I've done, uh, reps wise, sets wise, and exercise wise, is labelled on the screen at some point when I change when it changes scene to the different exercises. Just keep an eye out. Okay, so as you can see, I don't have to explain what we've done because it's on the screen with each changing scene. But what I want to tell you guys is, when doing dumbbells, okay, so you dumbbell alternating curls, they work on more of the shape, the sculpting, the the, the peak of the bicep, all right. So it's not um, necessarily a thickness builder, okay. It's not necessarily going to build your forearms as much. But the barbell, what you're seeing right here, mine works the forearms, the thickness of the whole arm. You get tree trunks doing the um, the barbell curls, but you get defined tree trunks. You get mountain peaks on your biceps when you incorporate the cur um, dumbbell curls. Hence why I always do both. I need the best of both worlds. Um, if you look at classic bodybuilders like um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, had, you know, argu arguably some of the best arms in history, in my opinion. He done a lot of um, street bar curls. He done a lot of street bar curls as well as dumbbells as well. But a lot of street bar curls that got him the thickness in his arms. And obviously he sculpts that with the uh, dumbbell curls okay so always incorporate both guys if possible but if you don't have the time i'll definitely choose the barbell curls okay so the squatted preacher curls is a new one for me i've never done this actually i've done preacher curls but not the squatted z introduced me to this he's a sick pt by the way he always give me these little tips and what this is is basically the preacher curls you can see but with no uh bench needed you know no platform needed for the for the curls so you just use your knees what you do is you place your elbows i say just in front of your knee okay so it provides the support um so you can keep your elbow, um, keep your arms nice and steady and what this does it works on the peak of your biceps crazy gets you that sculpture gets you that nice golf ball that snooker pool ball whatever you want to call it in your arms it's insane great workout for sculpting 100 percent nanny more curls there's more curls guys Look, with the cables, guys, always remember it offers constant resistance, okay? So there's not one point apart from when you go back to at rest where the muscles can kind of relax. Even when holding it near your face, the bar, you're always going to get a high level of resistance. Hence why I love the cables. And with this particular bar, with this cable as well, it offers you the opportunity to sculpt as well as build thickness in your arms, okay? If you hold each rep for about half a second at the top, half a second at the top you will get best of both worlds so give it a go guys now this is a workout I actually got from the legendary CT Fletcher I'm sure you guys know who he is if you're about that fitness life um, yes so the dumbbell school crushes this is great I find this exercise puts less stress on my elbows when doing school crushes because if I do it with the barbell I, honestly my elbows turn into rubble turn into fucking dust but if I do it with this uh, with the dumbbells I feel great you know, there's really no problems or issues at all. And I feel I can go heavier and heavier without the issues occurring. Maybe that's because of my wrist positioning when doing the uh, skull crushes. But a lot of people have that issue. And if you do have that issue, try the dumbbell skull crushes, guys. They work like crazy and they're really effective. Crazy effective, man. Um, also, one tip, it's hard to keep your elbows narrow because obviously there's two separate entities and, you know, your hands different separate weights, which kind of, they don't force your hands separately, separate, but... You know, it's a struggle to keep them together. So make sure you always remember to try and keep your elbows as narrow as possible to get the best engagement in your triceps, guys. Always remember that. One more tip on this exercise from your pending senpai. So listen up. When you're doing this exercise, all right, imagine it like the tricep extension with the rope, okay? When you kind of rotate the bottom of the um, the bottom handles of the rope out outwards to um, flex the outside of the tricep, the outer head of the tricep. The same aspects with this exercise. Try that. When you get to the top point of this exercise, rotate the dumbbells out and squeeze. This engages every head in the tricep, in the tricep area when you do this exercise and you rotate at the, at the top. Try it. So the reverse grip tricep extensions with the handles. Z introduced me to this again. <laughs> Gotta give him props, man. He knows his shit. Um, this exercise really targets the inner head of the tricep. Now, this is the um, area of my tricep that's not it's developed okay but it's not thick enough it needs to be thicker because it's the it's the biggest head it holds the most mass so in my opinion it should be thicker 
this exercise enables me to target that that head directly like there's no honestly the burn in that area is crazy obviously the other heads are hit like the outer two when you get to the bottom phase of this exercise but the inside tricep head gets that work like look at the veins and these uh, tricep there man shit madness okay so we finished on a drop set with the uh, tricep extension machine now we've done super sets drop sets you know 40 rep sets 30 rep sets in this video in this workout and we're finishing on a drop set 30 rep sets times three so that's 90 reps what I'm trying to say is that what I've been preaching is what I do all right what I've been preaching from that, that what the old school guys do like Arnie my favorite example we do the drop sets and the triple drop sets and then we left to failure and then we do another set on top of the drop set basically we've done that in this video you've seen it it's physical proof of what I do you know this is my um, on season now I'm, I'm like three weeks out from my comp so the weights aren't as heavy but I'll do the same things with heavy weights it's just what has built me the muscles. I wouldn't change the formula. Okay, guys? So I'm just giving you what works. Try it. Give it a go. Let me know how it went out in the comment section below. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe if you liked what you've seen. I'm out.